Hi, this is John Rutherford coming to you from the Rutherford Laboratory Science Center. We are playing with fire. It doesn't seem like it. You can't see anything, can you? No, you can't. It just looks like, hey, what's going on here? Nice little cup of water. Yeah, no big deal. No big deal, yeah. Doesn't look like anything's going on here. Well, let me tell you, something is going on here. It's an oxidation reaction. It's fire. It's invisible fire. Crazy invisible fire. That's right. That's what's happening. You know, like, that fits nothing. Nothing. This is called a tripod stand, often used atop a Bunsen burner to hold things that you would like to eat. Now, I shall roll up the Bunsen burner, like so. Can you see a flame? Yes, you can. A tiny flicker of a flame. This flame, even though it has a tiny bit of orange, is called a non-luminous flame. However, if, as if, through some form of magic, I reduce the amount of oxygen being mixed with the gas coming through this pipe into the Bunsen burner, what will happen is a Luminous flame will be created, a very bright orange and fancy flaming flame. Yes, that's what's happening. Now, as if through the magic of science and the power of my mind, I can make it non luminous. Luminous? Non luminous? By the way, when playing with fire, do not get your hair involved, and you should always use safety glasses. Bunsen burner. Why is it called that? Tripod stand. Why is it called that? Maybe because it has three legs. Dika gaki. Yep, that's right. A beaker. Why is it called a beaker? I don't know. Maybe you do. This one holds 500 milliliters of water. That's one half a liter. How long do you think it would take to heat this? Finally, using a Bunsen burner, the proper way to extinguish it is not to blow it out, though that would suffice. You could blow it out, but you might walk away leaving the gas burning, and then you can make an explosion. Turn it, in our case, clockwise, or it makes tight. I like dried off the car, turn it down the right, next type. And it extinguishes the flame as it deprives it of the fuel it needs to burn. When lighting a Bunsen burner, what you should do is observe. There is something called an air hole, an inlet right here. Can you see that hole? This allows air, oxygen, to mix with the gas coming through this pipe and mix and thoroughly burn as a result of oxygen being combined in a proper proportion to burn all of the carbon-based fuel that we have coming through this tube. What you should do to light a Bunsen burner, though, is to close this inlet hole. You see that hole over there? You should close it by closing the collar. Close the collar. You will see that you can close it. I'll let you witness it being closed. Right? You close it so that it doesn't allow oxygen to fit all. Then what's going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? Now that no oxygen can come through, what's going to happen? Is it going to be a bright orange luminous flame or a non-luminous flame? What do you think? To light it safely, what you do is you turn it with the lighter in hand and ready. You have to lift our, we have a nice uh, new valves on our gas supplies. You have to lift it, can you see that? Lift it, just a little bit, lift it, and then turn it counterclockwise or left. Left makes loose, turn it left, giddy. Yeah, and then stand back, hair out of the way. Would not want your hair involved with that little flame. Now, we will open the air intake, expose the holes. If you're observing, you can hear a little sound. And 
we have now developed a non luminous flame. It's not right. It's not a illuminating angle. This would not be a good flashlight. If you wanted to be, if we, if the, if we had a mati lampu, if the power went out, then a better flame would be the luminous flame it makes a lot of light, but not as much heat. A lot of light, but not as much heat. For lab purposes, we primarily use the non-luminous flame. Not the luminous flame. Not this one. But the non-luminous flame. The non-bright flame. Okay. This is Mr. John signing off. Hope you enjoyed this session of Mr. John Science coming to you live from Rutherford Laboratories and parts in between. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Signing off.